Carly Corinthos is a woman who has always wanted it all on General Hospital. Family, love, power, control, and money. She has definitely managed to find a ball and lose it more than a few times, suffering tragedies like the loss of her son, Morgan Corinthos, along the way. Typically, she doesn't get overconfident, but she recently did, and that's when we knew what was coming. Carly, Laura Wright, is a character who likes to play God with everyone's lives and always thinks she has the perfect plan. After watching her keep the identity of not one, but two of Nina Reeves's, Cynthia Watro's, daughters a secret, she was due for a little bit of karmic payback for some of her actions of late. And that is exactly what she got when she decided to sell her share of the Metro Court just to have enough money to buy Aurora stock, presumably make more money, and buy her hotel right back. Seeing how gleeful she was before the fall just made it oh so much more delicious when she learned she'd never raise enough money to get her hotel back. She started counting money before she had it, celebrating herself and how clever she is. When a character is that happy about something, it never works out. When it's Carly who never knows when to stop sticking her nose where it doesn't belong, it's all the more glorious. Carly's mistake can also have a ripple effect through other stories as the identity of her mystery buyer is revealed. Whoever it is will have to manage to work with Olivia Quartermain, Lisa Le Cicero, and if Olivia is not happy with her new partner, then she might just blame Med Quartermain, Wally Kurth, for sinking the Aurora merger that Carly thought would put her on easy street for the rest of her life. It was time Carly got a comeuppance just for being involved with too many storylines she has no business being in and watching her glee turn to gloom was everything we needed, knowing that she will rise again. General Hospital spoilers reveal bad news for a cancer patient, two very worried mothers, a mass kidnapping, and so much more. You won't want to miss a moment of this exciting new episode. With Liesl, Kathleen Gaddy, literally vanishing from a magical vanishing box and never returning that puts a crimp in willows, Ketlin McMullen, plans to get some of her life-saving bone marrow the next day. It's yet another setback and Carly, Laura Wright, and Drew, Cameron Matheson, are left with the task of telling Michael what happened to Liesl at the ball. Michael, Chad Duell, then has to inform Willow it's a waiting game once again. It's either keep their fingers crossed and hope Aunt Liesl shows up, look for another donor, or wait for Willow to die, Portia. Brooke Kerr spent much of the ball trying to resist talking to Trina, Tabiana Alley, so she could have her space and enjoy herself. When she finally decides she wants to see her, she is nowhere to be found and seems to have vanished like Liesl. She knows in her gut something is wrong. At least Jordan is on the case sniffing around to learn exactly what Victor, Charles Chaunessy, really did. When Portia questions Jocelyn, Eden McCoy, about Trina's whereabouts, Joss is also not sure where her BF at is. Perhaps she was too busy watching her boyfriend strip on stage to pay much attention to Trina. Little did anyone know that Spencer, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, took off to see Victor, thinking he had a true and legal plan to get him custody of big baby Ace, while Trina followed because she wanted to know what the heck was going on. When Spencer realizes what Victor is really up to, he treads carefully with his unspooling uncle. Finally, Laura, Jenny Francis, now knows her grandson is gone and calls in all the help she can get to try to find him. When Dante, Dominic Zampragna, is called to the scene of a crime, he vows to help Laura, as well as help catch Victor. However, they have to also deal with Esm, Avery Kristen Pohl, who will stop at nothing to get her son back. General Hospital spoilers reveal a medical prognosis, hidden secrets, new beginnings, and so much more. You won't want to miss a moment of this emotional episode. Willow, Catelyn McMullen, did not want to give birth to her baby before her due date, but to cure her cancer, the best bet was to deliver her baby slightly early. Happily, she is big and healthy, and her stem cells were able to be harvested, but will they prove to be the cure that Willow needs, Austin? Roger Howarth doesn't look reassuring as he delivers some medical news. Is this the miracle that Willow has been waiting for after refusing cancer treatment for months, or is it time to look for another alternative to help her live to raise her children? Ava Mora West might have been able to reassure Laura that Nicholas, Adam Huss, is fine for the time being, 
but eventually, many people are going to start noticing that Nicholas is gone. There is also the matter of Nicholas being locked in a closet in the Spoon Island stables. When Ava needs to problem solve, does she find a problem with her hiding spot that will have long-term consequences? Or does she have more people poking around to see if she knows where Nicholas disappeared to Finn, Michael Easton? Did his best to get some legal advice for Elizabeth, but had to tell Alexis, Nancy Lee Gran, he was talking about a hypothetical situation, and he didn't name any names. It also turns out that Elizabeth, Rebecca Herbst, can get her own lawyer and is ready to tell Scott, Ken Schreiner, all. However, thanks to Liesel, Kathleen Gaddy, Finn now knows she is talking to Scott and rushes to her house. When Elizabeth gives Finn an update on what she has decided, will she make her decision based on sound legal advice, or does Finn interrupt the advice session? As for Finn's dad Gregory, Gregory Harrison, he is still thinking about Alexis's offer to come on board as a reporter for The Invader, but he is not sure she wants to step into the proverbial fire like that this late in his career. Now that Sonny is a kindler, gentler mobster on General Hospital, he has new mobster friends to hang out with. Before, Sonny saw everyone as competition and just killed them, but in a loving and caring mobster way, one of Sonny's new pals is Selena Wu. But is she as loyal as she'd like Sonny to think she is? Wu wouldn't love Sonny, Morris Bernard, 6% of the audience can't wrap their hands around the alternative. Of course Selena, Lydia Look, is loyal to him. She knows he's the best. And if she were to betray him, he would be the worst. So she both respects and fears him. As all should, loyalty is a two-way street, 33% remind. Selena will be loyal to Sonny, as long as Sonny is loyal to Selena. Mobstering is a business. It's not a community service project. Right now Sonny and Selena need each other, so they're chill. But if Selena ever suspects that the dimpled Don has betrayed her, all bets are off. And Selena will be looking out for number one, which Sonny of course will take as a betrayal of him, and get cranky. However, a majority 61% of fans don't trust Selena. She is only pretending to be pro Sonny, but you can see behind her mask. Selena is all about her own power. She sees crime as a way to enrich herself, rather than others, the way that Sonny does. She is selfish, and she is greedy. She is obviously plotting his downfall and a takeover of Sonny's territory. Selena wants those coffee warehouses. She knows that stuff is more addictive than any drugs, and she wants in on that sweet, sweet caffeinated action. Silly Selena. Doesn't she know that Sonny always wins?